Hi everyone, I'm Olga and you're on my channel about cross stitch. Today is Friday, September 25th, uh, and I'm here with the complete disaster around me. Uh, just to show you everything I worked on, everything I finished, um, everything I started, everything I stitched. Uh, and uh, the plan is, I will talk about my finishes and a couple of fully finishes. Uh, I have more, but three of my finishes are the framer now, so I'm trying a new framer in my area, and uh, probably I will show it to you next video. Uh, I will do a quick uh, life update then, uh, then I will show you my whips, and then we will talk about my haul, uh, it's excessive, and uh, then I will show you my previous finishes, uh, fully finished autumn and Halloween cross stitch. That's the plan. Okay, quick life update and why I'm doing this video today. It's not time yet, so last time I did it like in the middle, I think in a, maybe on 12th of August. Uh, and usually I did a video once a month. Now I decided to do it every three, uh, every two weeks. And so if I will film today in the middle of October, I will come back and show you what I worked on. I found that a video once a month just is really exhausting uh, because I have a lot usually. And uh, all this a lot is like around me. It clutters my space and I really don't like it. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, uh, that's why I'm filming today, and today is a lot, a lot to show you, but it's fine. Uh, I think every two weeks uh, the video could be shorter, but I will show you everything I worked on, and maybe it will be more manageable. Uh, second thing I want to, <laughs> to talk about is... Um, uh, the huge uh, remodeling project going now in my house. So it's the last, uh, actual, actually the last day before everything will start. Uh, we decided to completely remodel the kitchen and the master bathroom. Uh, we have a small, tiny, <laughs> tiny town home, so we will stay, we will not move out and all the noise, uh, all the people around uh, will be like every day from 7.30 to 7 uh, p.m. So, um, like oh, the whole day. And uh, I decided that last day before everything will be covered in plastic, I will show you everything I have. Um, Yes, uh, and we will talk about plans in the end of the video. Okay, I will show you my book of days. For now, um, I'm going strong and I stitch every day. Uh, all this um, pink, it, should, it could be finished, could be start. Uh, I did like six starts in this uh, month. And uh, I finished three of them and hopefully we'll finish another two uh, because uh, or maybe all of them. So probably I will finish all my uh, September starts till the end of September. We'll see. Okay, uh, what I wo worked on. Uh, first of all, I started on the 1st of September, small little sampler. And I actually finished it, but I couldn't, f uh, couldn't show you. I'm trying to find the pattern. Here it is. It's a small pattern from, uh, from, from the heart, needle art by Wendy. And uh, this is a flower garden cottage sampler. I started and finished it, uh, and I will show it to you next video because it's at the framer now. Uh, since then, I finished, I also finished uh, Labor of Learning by Plum Street Samplings, uh, but it's in the framer too. So 
we will look at it next time. Also, I finished my essay uh, by Tempting Tangles uh, called This Too, and it's at the primer. So we will uh, see these three fully finished objects next video. I shown you I showed you the um, body threads kit sleeping on a job almost finished and I finished and framed it. So yeah, I framed it myself. I stitched it with all, ki all the kit materials. It was 16 count speckled Ada and uh, Madeira floss. And I finished and fully finished it myself, as I said, in a rusty roof frame. It looks so good. Yeah, it's my first fully finish. Then, according to my book of days, uh, I started Autumn Rules by Primrose Cottage. Now, uh, uh, the story is that firstly I bought the board to mount it on, on Etsy, and then I bought the pattern and I stitched it like in four days, and uh, I fully finished it. I will uh, link down below the board. I stitched it on uh, 14 count Vintage Country Mocha Aida with GVC floss, all called for. I hope this will, will be uh, a thumbnail, <laughs> maybe. So yeah, now I have a fully finished autumn project, which is great because I don't have too many of them, okay? So I, as I said, I started and finished it in four days. Uh, then uh, I had the start and the finish in one day. Uh, it was a pattern I bought from Top Knot Stitcher, I think, two years ago, and I bought a palette for it, like a thread palette by Cottage Garden Threads. And uh, it calls Best Autumn, and it says have the best autumn available to you. I started and finished it in one day on 14 count vintage country mocha leftover Aida, uh, the leftover from Autumn Rules. It was a perfect size for this small project. And the frame again is from the Rusty Roof on Etsy and I framed it myself. This looks cute. Then, uh, then I started a new piece, which is a whip. Okay, I think, yes, uh, let's start with the finishes first. I finished Monster House SEL by Satsuma Street, and I didn't have any time to iron it actually and to put it in a frame but i have a frame for it it will um fit in standard 11 by 17 frame i measured it i tried it on but i didn't frame it but i will maybe this weekend just to okay let's closer it's a beast. It's a really decent size. And you can see a little bit of, like so some of them are glowing on in the dark, white. White is glowing in the dark. So, and it's glowing pretty good. It's from DMC. And I stitched it on 28 count Ubelhor Yeva in cow uh, in a color ash brown yes that was a finish oh uh, then what next i think that's all with the finishes we'll look at my whips shall we uh first of all i started 
the gift from my dear friend Sabrina, Lady Marmalade and Stitches on YouTube and on Instagram, and she gave me the pattern by Garcetta Gogo, uh, Halloween sampler. I love it. I just love it. I, I, yes. The, um, the designer has a seasonal samplers. I think she has winter sampler, uh, which I have, uh, autumn sampler, which I all, <laughs> also have. I have a Halloween now and she has spring one, I believe. I'm not sure about summer, but she definitely has uh, a series. So, and I started it and it's on a scroll frame. I have everything around me and it's a lot. Okay. Uh, this is what I have. Uh, this is 20 count Ada uh, in color. Not another sampler, um, Vibe You Stitch Me, uh, all old for GMC, and this cutie pie is from Mary's Minders, and uh, it's from Polymer Clay, and it's really a piece of art. It's just so good, and it was uh, part of my haul, so I show it to you. That was my first whip, and I worked on it like for maybe three days and i have all the bones of the border and i started with the flowers around it and these uh, cute little scenes is uh, are pumpkin stems so yes uh, i'm not sure if i will be able to finish it to closer to halloween but it's okay i'm i actually don't have any time now with all this remodeling uh but i'm still you know optimistic maybe i will do it okay then uh this pattern is also part of my huge haul and uh quite a new obsession for me uh as you know i am trying all the new designers I want all the new patterns. You will see it in my haul section. And so I bought some patterns from Madame Chantilly and this one is a new one and it calls me and the monsters. It's one of her tiered trays. Uh, I believe she has a seasonal ones, but they're bigger, like three, three tiers. Uh, this one has just two. And what I have, I have dangling thread of course because i worked on it recently and i'm stitching on 36 count raw natural linen by zweigert uh so usually uh i think she recommends uh this fabric it's really neutral it's really versatile so that's what i have i have all the here uh, stitched all the letters uh, I have all the lower tier done and now I'm working on a uh, what uh, on a top tier uh, I think I'm like 80% done and uh, I'm hoping <laughs> to finish it till Halloween but I will talk about later in my plans this looks good. I'm stitching one over one with GMC. As you can see, the coverage is pretty decent. Uh, the white is really showing up. So yeah, I started and worked on it like for five days. Uh, straight and yes uh, we'll talk in the plans if I'm hoping for the finish I will put it back in the bag because I'm just all over the place now <clears throat> okay uh, my next one is the horse it was a new start 
I will show you. I have just a small, tiny picture of it. This is the horse uh, by Eugenia Kolesnikova and the Coffee Lover series. You can see my uh, beaver um, co coffee lover uh, all finished behind me. And this one is a new one and it's a bigger one. Of course, a dangling thread because that's how I am. I just, you know, I'm done and just, yeah, leave the needle as is. So this is my cute horse. It's a wooden plate perforated and you stitch and you have a figurine after that. So yeah, I just started and then all the uh, remodeling project started, so I just left it. But I will finish it, I think. It will take me like five days to finish, like five good stitching days, I think. Okay. Then, uh, on 21st of September, I started Autumn is this Joyful by Lila's Studio. You all know the pattern. Uh, I don't have a picture. I Maybe I have it in my tablet because I bought a PDF. And yes, of course I have it because I stitch it with Mark Upper XP <clears throat> and I have it in there. It was a long waited start. I wanted to take part in an SAL by Hugo Stitcher, Samantha. And so here is the pattern. That's how it looks like. And I'm stitching it on a cold for fabric, which is 40 count winter brew by R&R. And &R. and uh, I'm stitching the alternative uh sentence lila provided autumn is the second spring when every leaf is a flower and that's what i have i have all the verse and uh, i have the <laughs> almost all the central of the central acorn um 40 count it's a little bit uh more complicated to me uh, not to see it I see it fine but it it's just more like I don't know maybe intimidating for me maybe I just will you know get used to it but for now I need like breaks between the stitching session on this one. I worked on it for two days and that's what I have. Um, have no plans to finish it this autumn. It's it's a big project um, and uh, yes, something new to me. So I think I will continue. I will work on it, but no promises. Maybe I will find the right one and we'll go with it but for now it's like two days of stitching and a week of break from it okay my last start for now and probably last for uh, the month of september is from just another button company uh, i hope i have a picture of it because i'm I don't. I have it in my phone, uh, but I'm filming on my phone, so I will find it for you. Uh, this was uh, the um, series from 2009 by Just Another Button. And uh, they have like they had like button packs and a free chart with this. If you buy the button pack, uh, you will have the chart. Uh, that's uh, actually 
I'm trying, I'm trying so hard to find it. Just a second. It's a, it's a cup of tea, the series um, by just another button. So I know how it looks like and you can see it of on my yeah here we go okay i found it cup of tea uh i started october here's the just another button website so that's how it will look like it stitches all with all the weeks day works and gentle art uh threads but uh i'm using my own semi conversion so some of the flaws i had in my stash and i'm trying to uh, to keep my patterns up with my stash because i have pretty much and uh here is my small start and another uh mary's minder needle minder I'm stitching this on 32 count mustard Murano from Hobby Lobby and uh, it will take like six by six I think so I have another half it's a really uh, weird cut of this Murano I just bought it pre-cutted so yes here's my small start I started it yesterday so today I hopefully will just fill in the uh, cup yeah and I have a button pack it's pretty extensive <laughs> so this small thingy has three six eight ten buttons it has cat, a bird, a small stars, a small like butterflies or moths, and a, a spider. So I have almost all of these cups and button packs. Uh, I think I have nine from 12 and I'm going to stitch them all. So the October is the first in the series and uh, this is my uh, last whip for September. Now I hope I will focus on finishing. Okay, uh, we did all the whips, the finishes, the fully finishes. Uh, let's do haul. Haul and gifts and uh, yes, it's it's a lot it's just it's it's a lot a lot and uh i have all my autumn decor uh just cleaned like dusted and i pull it all out of the boxes but never uh put it in place but it's okay let's start with the gifts uh i could say i had a nice sympathy card by uh from ellis thank you ellis it was really heartwarming thank you so much and i had a gift from sabrina who spoils me like hardly and she stitched me a bag look at this look at this oh this this fabric is good and it's my second um fancy bag it has a little charm here so it's just perfect one for me and uh, sabrina gave me the artsy housewives you got it pattern and i will show it to you and i want to start it soon maybe when i finish something uh, from the projects i showed you so yes and she bought me the fabric to stitch it on it's 18 count uh aida vellum from picture this plus i think it's a colorful fabric 
so I will stitch it on it. I put it in the bag just to, and didn't use the bag just to show it to you. And uh, I received it like quite a while ago and now I'm just willing to, you know, use it. Okay, then I will put it here because I went, went to the retreat and it was a Pacific Northwest Stitch Summit. And uh, I will not do a recap of it because I think Lisa, the uh, kindred teacher, and uh, Jordan, the Tweet teacher, they did pretty. And Anna, Stitch Rodis, I will mention them down below. They all did great recap on this retreat. I will just say that it was a blast. Thank you, <laughs> all these Zoom ladies, to hanging out up, up with me and uh, we had really a blast and Janine and her team did a great job and as usual and this retreat is the one I always uh, want to attend like every year we'll see but next year the designers will be the artsy housewife and um, Evlea uh, which is Krista West and she does the magnificent uh, folk uh, stitching uh, the this is beautiful you should uh, look at this i will show you the patterns we had uh, because it's like part of my new stash or not right now so the designers were uh, best twist by harsing samplery and teresa Cogut, and we had uh, the bag from teresa and another bag from um best and we have two patterns in there and there um this is best across the miles and this is teresa's no distance to far the theme was the uh stitching friendship when you you know have a friend you probably never met but they're your good friends and you have your zooms you have your uh, communication like we have here on my channel so i think you're all my friends so these patterns are perfect to commemorate that and the phrase on it is distance means so little when someone means to so much and you can stitch these patterns together and or like so it's a border uh, which uh, brings these two together and i'm thinking about stitching it together and i will so i have like my own rule just to stitch something from the retreat uh even if it's a big pattern we have we had all the floss we had the fabric it's a beautiful maple bar by uh, cedar river um, linens and design and it's a big it's a full fat quarter i think and uh, we had all the floss it's a fancy floss and we have them with a cute wooden thread card thread hanger i already put everything on the thread hanger and I think that, so the names of the uh, animals are Willow and Flint. I think Willow is a beaver and Flint is a raccoon. So I will stitch these two patterns together for all my friends, my distant friends, but still so close to my heart. So I think it's a perfect pattern. And it was a surprise for us because we had the third one and this is a little biscornu with Willow and Flynn. And uh, I will stitch it too. I ordered the linen for it. And uh, yes, we had cute little buttons to put it together too. So with Willow and Flynn, as I said, and all the wooden things were made by Beth's twist uh, husband, Matt. And he was... Uh, talking about uh, the wood the trees on the, on their property and was it was a really interesting talk so yeah i will stitch the biscornu too it's so cute and uh, this is exclusive so 
uh, afterwards uh, both uh, designers will release their part of Biscornium, but uh, for the general public it will never be like this, so it will be just Flynn or just Willow on a Biscornium, so we are lucky and we have this one. And of course I will stitch it. It's small, it's cute, and I like it. Okay, then, uh, let's... Oh, this hole is part market, part just patterns I want to try. Uh, like, well, I will start with the null forest because it wasn't um, market. It, it was, uh, there were two patterns I wanted to buy. And first of all, uh, this is the leaflet Owl Forest just released. It's fruit and berry, and it's 24 small patterns, which look like this, with berries and fruit. And you can see that some of them are on wooden frames looking like jars. I bought three from our forest. I will show you is small so i bought three and i will choose three patterns probably i will stitch more and i will uh, just uh, <clears throat> change them by season or somehow i don't know i just liked the idea of it so i bought three of these frames i bought the pdf for this leaflet and I bought all the Owl Forest floss for it. Yeah. I bought another PDF. Uh, the name of the pattern is The End of Summer. Looks like this. And uh, I bought the threads for it. For Owl Forest, I prefer to buy their thread because it's ideal and I fall in love with the cover photo and if you want the same thing as on cover photo, you should buy their floss. Yeah, the, uh, the postage is crazy expensive, but I did it. I decided that once a year I could afford it and I did it. Okay, then. Let's do market, right? Market first. Oh my goodness, market. This market, I went a little bit crazy. I can say that I never bought too many patterns at once, but I did this one, like, okay. It's, uh, yeah, I will sort it a little bit because some of these pattern and patterns are not new. I just bought it because I liked it. Okay, from the market, it doesn't look like I'm too crazy. Maybe I am. It's okay, right? We're all a little bit crazy here. It's fine. Uh, we will get it, right? Okay. My goal was uh, to try different designers, like new to me, uh, or not so new to me, but I never stitched them. So something like this. And uh, I decided to start with a sprouting lupine and I bought a graveyard guardian because it's a green. It's a green, yes. Uh, the uh, sprouting lupine uh, patterns, they look so unusual like not so traditional, you know, and the colors she uses are great. And uh, I decided to try and I bought the uh, 20 count hibiscus Ada for this, not a cold for, but, and I think I will stitch it twice because my friend fell in love with that and she loves Grimm's uh, big dogs and wolves and she thinks that this is a wolf whatever for me it's grim 
So probably I will stitch it twice for me and for my friend. And I'm okay with that. It's okay. I will do it. I can do it. Let's put it on the floor. Uh, then, of course, it's my first try. I never tried, but I bought nettle. I think everybody bought it. Uh, by Stacey Nash, Animal Crackers. I bought Clovis. She's a badger. And she's from Britain series, which is great. I like British aesthetic. And she's really cute. And I bought Reynard, British series also. I never tried, I never tried to stitch and uh, fully finish one of the animal crackers, but I think I can do it. I can do it. I encourage myself to do it. So I bought three. Probably this obsession will go further. Uh, you never know. Then um, I bought, you can see I bought uh, like many Halloween pieces and I will explain it in the plans, okay? So I bought a Sampler Holidays Halloween by Blueberry Rich Design. Looks like this. I bought a fabric for it, it's not called for and I will show it to you later. Uh, for now I just show you the pattern. It looks cute, it's monochromatic, I love it, I love Halloween, uh, I like to stitch Halloween, so I will show you, and yes, here we go, I bought this, and I bought a Harvest Moon by Anybee's Fall Card. I've, I just fell in love with this pattern, I had to have it, and I bought it, and I will stitch it, and I will talk about it in the plants, okay? This house is my favorite, just favorite. Okay, then uh, I bought two new patterns by Madame Chantilly. I'm not sure. I bought three new, you saw one, uh, it's me and the monsters. And I bought the ghost collection, find the intruder with a cute kitty. I bought Halloween Carillion. She has a series of these uh, Carillions. Uh, she has Christmas one, uh, I think, and something else, winter one, I believe. I have a frame, which is like arch shape. And I think it will go perfectly in it. We'll see. Uh, for now, I just bought the pattern and uh, three pieces of raw natural linens, 36 count, to stitch it on. Um, all these patterns I will show then uh, are not new. I just uh, saw them, you know, so won't buy. It's me. That's how I buy cross stitch as I'm, I'm immortal, but it's okay. Okay, I bought the whole series of uh, animals with the different drinks. And uh, this is winter hot cocoa. Spring jasmine tea. I like the piggy. Summer Iced Lemonade. And uh, Autumn Spiced Coffee. Cute. Just cute. It's just cute. Uh, so, I'm obsessed with Italian designers. So, Madame Chantilly is Italian designer. Uh, Crocetta Gogo uh, is an Italian designer and uh, these aesthetics just calls for me. I'm like, yes, I, I really obsessed with it. It's okay. Uh, I think it's fine. Then I bought a pattern from Boxing Moon Designs and this one is pretty, I think it's really old. I never looked uh, what year it was released but i think it has 
yes it's 2010 uh, so this is this series one color wonders and this is Halloween fairies and I want to stitch these bigger ones with the fairies and the scary cat of course and I get it up with the 30 count pumpkin linen, uh, which is called for. It's by Wix. And uh, I bought two, two skeins of onyx to stitch. It's pretty greenish to me, but probably I will just switch to black. I don't know, but I just like it. So done, bought it. I'm a big fan of Kathleen's patterns. I stitched two and uh, I want to stitch them all, especially Halloween ones. And so I bought a Witch in Hour. Actually, it's an alphabet. It's monochromatic. I found it fascinating. <laughs> so I bought it too. And uh, I get it up with 20 count Ada uh, cornflower, I think, by Fiber on the Rim. I, I'm sorry, my dog, dog is dreaming and barking. Uh, it's cobalt, cobalt by, uh, it's not so blue, it's deeper blue, so more haunted blue. And uh, it's by Fiber on Whim. And I think this will look good on it. And uh, I will stitch it with the Royal Purple by Sampler Threads Gentleman. I kit it up. I will explain in my plant section what I will do with all of it. But I think you probably suspect what I will do. I bought a keepsake calendar 2025. I will not flip through, but I will show you it like this. It's all in there. I like these uh, little ghosts there. I like this owl. Um, I like the a carrot patch. I like the bouquet. It's just a good calendar. It's my first. I never bought something like this, but yes, I bought it. Uh, this is the one kit I bought, and uh, this is Dimensions Holiday Tree. I already stitched the companion piece for it, Bird and Berries, and uh, I waited for this one and uh, probably it will go in my uh, winter Christmas plans, yes. It's not like obviously Christmas for me, except the tag. Uh, I think I can just leave it after Christmas till spring. Just love it. Just one kit I bought. Okay, uh, the calendar came with the instruction booklet where all the patterns are, so yeah. Uh, then, old patterns. Uh, some of them are really old, uh, like I bought the 1996 pumpkins by the Prairie Schooler, and I bought it with a small stitched one not fully finished but i fully finished it uh it's not a pumpkin it's just a pillow because this linen was so old and it was just you know falling apart so i put some um uh, like fusible you know light liner liner i don't know how i am not a quilter so i don't know <laughs> what is that but it it made it a little bit uh more like stitchable at least so it's nothing in on a uh on a stitch like on a sides but it's okay it's so cute and it's it will stay on my bookshelf and of course i want to stitch all the pumpkins and of course I want them to be pumpkins, but I, I, I could never probably do it, but I want to. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, another older patterns are from carriage house samplings because I love carriage house samplings. It's my confession, I think, from all the designers that were around like for a long time. Uh, this one is my favorite. I stitched uh, the um, being her bonnet. It's there, but it's not so easy to see now. Uh, and I fell in love with the pattern, with the clearness of it, with the logic of it. So I think the Carriage House will be one of my favorite designers. And I bought some patterns. Yes. And yes, I want to stitch them all. Uh, at first, it started with Oliver and Friend, which I saw on eBay. And I decided to check if the designer has it on the website, and yes, she has. So I bought this from the designer, and this pattern is from, from 2003. 21 years, still great. I like acorns and pumpkins, and with the acorns you will see later. So I want to stitch all the acorns, I think. So I bought Oliver and Friends. I bought acorns and threads. This pretty one. It's from... Oh, what the copyright is. I don't remember, but it's like the beginning of 20s. And I will stitch two together. It looks beautiful. Just love it. Or probably a small one too. I don't know. So I just bought it. I like it. And yes. I bought Miss Lila's house. Lila's Lila's. I don't know. And I will stitch it on light. Not so light like this one. Probably something a little bit warmer maybe. Uh, this pattern originally was released in 20. Uh, I think 2000 and re-released in 2020. Uh, so yes, Miss Lila's house. And my favorite of favorites, I don't know why it was not in a package, but it came like this. Uh, this is Red Winged Blackbirds. And I wanted to stitch it for ages. I always, They always caught my eye. We have uh, all Red Winged Blackbirds all around in spring. And their like uh, sounds are the sounds of spring to me, and so we have a little uh, pond uh, nearby, and they live in there, and so we have this kind of plants and uh, these birds. So yes, I definitely will stitch uh, these ones. Okay. It's not all the whole because I kitted up some projects I wanted to get up for ages and I will show it to you now. Um, it's quite an investment, like quite an investment, I could say, because I, okay, I couldn't find it. It's fine. It's crinkly, sorry. This is the linen, uh, the cranix, and the dinky dyes for tempting tangles before the fall. I will show you. Uh, this pattern is the best Adam and Eve pattern <laughs> for me. Uh, when I saw it, I don't remember where I saw it. I think it was... One of the floss tubes, I don't remember we, who showed it, but it's okay. Uh, before the fall, um, and uh, it looks like this, this, this. Yes, it has specialty stitches, it has a cranix, so the snake will be sparkly uh, the rope of the swing will be sparkly all the alphabets will be in the silks and this tree and the oh, oh i don't know i just i i'm in love with this i want to stitch it as soon as possible but uh for now i just have to 
just curb my enthusiasm a little bit and uh, yeah so i kitted this one up i kitted up oh this one is huge so i bought the cold for linen uh but in 32 count i think it stitched in, uh, on 26 i bought uh 22 or 32 count uh, this is lila's studio it's one of her older patterns it calls with thy needle too i saw it on lisa's kindred stitcher youtube and yeah i just i i just couldn't it's it's just the I don't know it's the best it's the best i i am trying to find the picture not so easy because i bought it but now okay like okay with the needle aha uh -huh. oops oops okay yeah here we go i will try to put it on the screen so it is huge okay it is intense it will be like a quilt size project for me but i'm so in love i'm so in love i think i'm in love with all my projects but yeah i i get it up it's like uh some of the colors need like eight skeins of it so i bought all the colors i bought the linen it's called four and it is i will say i will i will look at it just in a second it's espresso by r and r i like r and r linens and uh, this project i think will be my birthday start so it's in january i still have time to think i will put it on a huge scroll frame yes the last but not least is a pattern i wanted for ages and finally bought uh it's a plum street samplers paradise lost I saw it in acorns and threads stitched and uh, I had to have it and then I postponed uh, the purchase for years and years and years. It calls for NPIs and for now I just bought a linen for this. I bought the uh, 36 count Tyco. It's not the code for but it will go great with it. It's a big piece and uh, I'm not sure if I will buy the Vicky Clayton silks for it or I will invest in NPIs or I will go with the DMC. I don't know, but it should be stitched because this one is one of my favorites. Like favorites, favorites. That's all with the haul. Sorry for such a long one, but I know that some people love it. Some people hate it. Uh, I hope you'll not hate, hate me. <laughs> I will show you my previous finishes, okay? Uh, it's autumn and Halloween uh, and uh, a little bit of Thanksgiving. And then I will go with my plans, I think. Sounds good, right? Okay. Uh, this one was stitched, I think, in 2022. Uh, I don't remember the fabrics, nothing. I will just show you the fully finished, okay? This is like semi-fully finished because I just put it on a card board and just put it on a, on a shelf. Uh, this was an SAL by Barbarana uh, and uh, I stitched it. I, I kept, kept up with this SAL and uh, I stitched it and it was in a frame that was not fitted so and yeah i just took the frame pull it apart and just did like this it's good enough for the seasonal shelf decor and she looks good she looks good i remember that it's 28 count or even with probably it's a mushroom color 
Yeah. She looks good. Okay, let's put the tablet somewhere because it's not so easy. Okay, this one I stitched last year. It was a pattern I was I think it was a gift, so I don't don't know the designer, but if you really want, I can find what the designer is. Uh, this pattern is, and uh, this is the ghosties, <laughs> doggies in a ghost costumes. I stitched it on 32 count fabric flare fairy dust. And uh, I saw it just in an oval frame, so I found an oval frame on Amazon and I just put them in there. They are the cutest things ever. Look at them. Have lots of backstitch, but it's okay. It's fine. Okay. Uh, others, they were stitched like four, three years ago. Still love them. So this is a happy turkey by Imaginating. Stitched it in 2021, I think. Uh, put it on a wall every uh, autumn. It stays all autumn. Uh, it will go out in September now and will stay till Simon's Thanksgiving when I will switch my decor from autumn to winter and Christmas. Uh, so this one is 30, no, it's 28 count, I think, mushroom too. Uh, it's a standard frame, 8 by 9, uh, 8 by 10, and I stitched it with all the DMC. It's pretty old pattern by Imaginating. You can still find it on their website. You can find some of their older patterns. They still print them by order. So I framed it myself. Probably it's not ideal, but good enough for me. This one is just a picture, not a stitching. Uh, this one is a part of this series by Summer House Stitch Works. Autumn Provides. I stitched it two, two years ago now. It was my first in this series. I stitched all the series. Uh, you can see the summer one behind me and this one is Autumn. Uh, they all go in the standard 8x10 frames. Uh, this one I think I found in, at Hobby Lobby. Uh, this is a uh, 32 count of uh, vintage stormy something, even with by its Weigard. It's not hand dyed, it's printed, and all, all the series stitched on this fabric. Yeah, it's ready to go on the shelf, and it will. It's just three colors of DMC. I like Summer House Stitch Works. Okay, my another favorite is the Turkey Day by Cottage Garden Samplings, stitched in 2022 uh, with all called for. Uh, the fabric is, is 32 count some kind of even weaves. Uh, I like even weave more than linen sometimes, uh, so, but if I couldn't find the color I like in even weave, of course I will buy linen and stitch on linen, but usually I like even weaves more. It's my comfort stitching, it's, especially when it's 32 count, it's like two by two or two, uh, it's my favorite kind of stitching, I think. So here is the turkey day, again standard frame. Another cottage garden, uh, this is uh, the gathering acorns. I stitched it last year and just put it in this frame. Uh, it's a little bit tight for it, but I think it's okay. Usually I prefer to frame not so tight to the edges, but it fits. 
looks good. Uh, it's a little bit tight because I stitched it on 28 count. Uh, I think it's a cookie color and um, with a cold foil floss, I think. Usually I stitch with cold foil. I pretty rarely do the uh, conversion, but I think next year I will do it a little bit more because I'm planning to stitch from stash. Okay. Uh, my next one is just another button company, Girls' Night Out. It's a button and thread. It was button and thread pop from some. Uh, it was secondary market. I bought it on eBay. I don't know what fabric it is. It it was like a kit made by some store. So here they are. Cute little witches. It has a cranic in it, so the uh, the card on this motorcycle is glowing, sparkling. Yeah, I like the cat and the goggles. Yes, I had the companion piece, boys' night. Uh, boys are back in town, but didn't start it yet. Okay, bigger ones now. Uh, this is the Celtic Autumn Trio by Frony Ritter Designs. And uh, these are from the, I think it's just Cross Stitch Magazine. If you want, I will find the exact issue for you. I stitched them together and put them on a frame together. So I ordered the um, mat with three compartments, I can say, and uh, it has beads. So all these cute little ornaments are made from beads. It's Mill Hill beads and GMC. And yeah, it's one of my favorites, but I didn't uh, put anything on the back yet. I stitched it last year, I believe. Here we go. Probably you didn't see it. I couldn't remember. But when it's like this, you can see the beads. So I see the sparkle. You probably not. This one is big too. This is If the Head Fits by Kathleen's. And it's stitched on 28 count prank linen um, by Picture This Plus. I bought the embellishment pack from Acorns and Threads. And they, I think they could do it for you if you call them and ask. So you can see it has different each hat has different embellishments. This one has a cat and a cute bow and a veil. The feather, the spiders and the, the beads and the cute flower shaped embellishments. So I framed it myself again. So I ordered the custom frame framed it myself. Uh, next one is October 21st and the uh, linen by Fabric Flare, I believe. And uh, the pattern is the Society of Black Hats by Little Stitcher. I just put it in this frame. I had it in stash for years. Now it stays there. And so it's not in the middle uh, on purpose because I wanted all this fabric to show. Yeah. One of my favorite Halloween decorations, <laughs> I think. Okay. Oh, it's getting. Okay, get into the end. Get into the end. 
uh, this is imaginating again who loves you um, it was a it was a moon above the uh, owl but I wanted it to be just autumnal just cute just small and so I didn't stitch the moon but I stitched the owl it's imaginating it was a kit but I changed the fabric to 28 count black jobelin oh it looks so good so bright and cheerful and and acorns of course not an acorn <laughs> leaves but acorns and yeah oh, it's cute it's cute and the last no one one more uh this one was a kit from panam uh and the name of it is fisherman's it's fisherman yeah fisherman uh it's pretty complicated it's uh, it has french knots like lots of them half stitches cross stitches these trees all back stitched everything is back stitched lots of back stitch <laughs> back stitch again but blends so all the cute stuff uh, the manufacturer can do but yeah i love them it's one of my favorites like in autumn season so uh for like i stitched in it in 2019 and since then it's it was on a wall like whole year i couldn't just put it in a storage i framed it myself again this frame is a little bit tight but it's okay it serves good yeah love them and the last one in my parade is this cute little pumpkin i don't remember what pattern it was it was exclusive to some store and i bought this on the secondary market i know that it's a series uh, i didn't stitch some beaded like small flowers around it i just stitched the pumpkin and i made this cute little spider from two beads bigger and smaller beads and i believe i bought a frame for it last year so yes i love it i love it it's so cute 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 yeah love pumpkins so that all there is all of my halloween and autumn stitching for now so all caught up right uh now about my plants so you saw my whips they all will continue so i hope i will finish the cup of tea series october i hope i finish the horse and me and the monsters i think the uh this oh i have like a fly like a helicopter type of fly it's okay it's just really noisy i don't know how it got there like okay so i hope i will finish me and the monsters the horse and a cup of tea till the end of september so i still have no i don't mm -mm. i was to i have four days no mm -mm. not happening probably i will finish a cup of tea october series look at me <laughs> making projects okay but because i thought about october so in october i will finish me and the monsters and the horse uh the bigger ones in october i think i will work on the halloween sampler by Gracheta gogo and i think i will not start anything halloween i think well i don't plan to you know but if i will start something probably it will be a harvest moon 
if I will start it. I have some of the threads, I think. It's all gentle arts. I think I have some of them. Um, I will probably substitute some, so maybe. Um, I have a fabric, I think. Not the cold for, but something look, looking like that. Probably I will go for 32 count and it will be bigger. We'll see. But if I have a start, it will be this. Uh, because I like about Halloween starts. So for me, it's Halloween, um, but maybe well, it's more autumnal one because I need some. Oh, I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. It's my previous finish. And it's by Evgenia Kolesnikova, and it's my pumpkins. Oh, you can put the um, small like light string in them, and they will have light. So I didn't for now, but usually I do. It's like a small a hole you can put it. So you can put it in there. Yeah, I forgot about them. <sighs> Sorry for that. So. As I said, I wanted some more Thanksgiving things uh, in my life. <laughs> uh, and I have these ones kitted for years. I think I have them kitted for three years now. This is the, pig the Pilgrims uh, by Lizzie Kate. I have all the floors, I have the fabric, and I have all the buttons. It's like something around 20 of them on this pair of Pilgrims. So I will stitch uh, the pilgrims, uh, uh, at least I want to. So I have this pattern uh, and uh, I want to, what the actual, sorry, my husband called, I will not, I will not pause for, pause for it. So. And I want to stitch one of the autumn samplers, uh, and uh, I think it will be uh, this one or this one. I love them all, but it will it will be one. I like this one a lot, but this one is so elegant and classic. And yes, I I think I couldn't stitch two, but one of them I will. Here's the plan. Okay, just a sec. Well, I had to pause. Sorry for that, but we will continue with my plans. Okay, so you will see the new start, one of the uh, autumn samplers by uh, the Prairie Schooler. I love Prairie Schooler. I stitched just uh, one pattern from them, but I have a lot, so we will stitch this. I will start this. I will start this. I hope I will finish the sampler, one of the samplers and the pilgrims. I will continue to work on my autumn is, is as joyful, uh, on my um, Halloween sampler. So I think the autumn will be fun with all the construction. It will be twice as fun. Uh, but I feel inspired. I like to uh, watch the autumn videos. Uh, I like to see all the new patterns. And uh, for now, I don't have any plans for Christmas. Probably I will. Uh, not now, not now, but probably <laughs> I will have some. Uh, I'm trying to be realistic with my plans, but you can see how much I buy. And uh, what I was uh, I was about to talk about when my husband called, uh, I decided to stitch from stash for the next year. Of probably it's not realistic, but most from my stash. Another thing I want to stitch all year long, it's Halloween and autumn, because it's my favorite uh, theme uh, in stitching. So I always will have a favorite, like, one, at least one a month 
uh, her own project. I think. Uh, we'll see, but for now I'm thinking like that because I bought many Halloween patterns. I love all of them. I really, I'm really excited about them. Um, I started to be excited about my stitching again uh, after almost three months of um, kind of, it's not a depression, but it was kind of difficult to just take my stitching and stitch. Um, I will work, work on my whips. Uh, I had more than 30, uh, barely started, and uh, I re revisited them, revised them, and decided that no, uh, some of them will uh, wait a little bit longer. Uh, for now, I have 21 whip, um, and I will work on these ones. Uh, probably now it's a seasonal stitching I don't think I will take out any of my uh, whips I think I will work on seasonal stuff and they'll, then we'll see but next year uh, hopefully will be like a mix of Halloween stitching for whole year and working on my whips. Of course, I'm thinking about like, if I find something, like something I really love and uh, I will feel like hyped and excited and I will just buy the pattern and start it the same day, it's okay. I think I can do that uh, because I couldn't suffer with my hobby, right? I just uh, needed to have fun and happiness from my stitching. Uh, probably I will reduce the 40 count uh, stitching um, in the future, but all the projects on 40, uh, which I already started, I will continue uh, because some of them I just really like and uh, I will show it to you. So for now we have 21 whip. Uh, let's go from it. Uh, so maybe we will have 24, but I will finish some. So I, I, I have to reduce, like decrease my um, whip quantity. Not because it bothers me. Uh, maybe sometimes it bothers me, but I think because I want something finished, to start something new, as we all know, and I, I'm not prepared to have like 100 whips. I just like to see the videos about this uh, kind of uh, collections of whips, but I couldn't imagine myself doing this. That's how it works. So, uh, for now, I will say goodbye. Uh, for two weeks, okay? Uh, in two weeks, I hope I will film again and we will stick with the two weeks schedule. I think I will have enough content to show you. I bought some things to help me with that. I bought the stitching challenges inspired by um, Wizarding World by Black Needle Society and I think I will pull out like one card a week and I will stitch okay so we'll play a little bit and probably yes now I'm trying to be uh, a little bit more active in my Instagram so you can uh, follow me there. I'm trying to post every day and usually it's my daily progress so you can see uh, what I'm doing today. So usually I post after I um, finish with my stitching session for the day and so after that I just post the picture. So we will uh, We'll be keep, we'll keep in touch. Uh, I'm really tired. This video is more than an hour long, 
uh, I hope you're not bored. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for your comments. It brings me joy. Thank you so much. Love you all. See you in two weeks. Bye.